Hey everybody and welcome to Quest for Pixels Conversations. I'm one of your hosts, Tony Baker, and today I am joined by the very lovely Sheldon Benedict. Hello, everybody. And the bodacious Joel, aka the Falcon. What's good? What is good? <laughs> Boys, how are you doing with the pandemic this week? What's been new for you guys? Uh, so it's getting worse in this area, but <laughs> Ooh, that's not good. <laughs> um, I don't know. We went unhit because I'm in the middle of America where there is nobody, but, uh, up in like where I work, all the people that travel from everywhere up there, it was only, you know, a matter of time before it got hit. They started out with one case that turned into 12 cases in two days. And now they're up past 48 confirmed cases wow yeah and then bozeman montana no butte bozeman one of those two um they've got today i think just said it was like 148 confirmed today which is crazy but i don't know there's been uh, a new rumor going around that the u.s is going to mandate a two-week shutdown of everything but i don't know we went outside yeah today because it was finally warm <laughs> Oh, that's good. Yes. We are going to be hitting the warmth next week, so I'm pretty excited Hell yeah. about that so I can go for a walk so it's not so damn cold. Yeah. But, but what so are you guys doing to keep yourself busy? Animal Crossing, video games. Animal, Animal Crossing, video games. <laughs> I've been getting all my streaming and Quest for Pixel stuff set up on my computer. I am recording oh, nice. tonight, so... Ooh, Mr. Fancy. Again, Fancy bragging. Pants. This guy brags way too much. <laughs> Uh, Joel, what about you? What are you doing this week to keep yourself uh, occupied and not thinking about pandemics? Uh, I went and did some yard work today. Oh. I went and uh, did that today. I did some barbecuing today. Nice. So that was pretty good. I have this uh, I have this weird thing where like I have to go to the grocery store and then I get back home and I'm like, oh my god, like is this cough new? <laughs> why, 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 why does my throat feel phlegmy? Oh my yeah. god, I got it. Like. So I think I get myself all like I make myself think that I'm sick and then I actually start feeling sick. Yeah. So it's a uh, yeah, I that's I, not good. <laughs> I, I try to keep myself not thinking about it too much just because I do like to, to dwell on stuff like that. And then I get myself all worked up and that's no good. So I just been playing some Animal Crossing. I got the kids home. So my wife has finally gone back to the office because she's a essential employee. Yeah. So yeah, it's she, tough being essential, you know. I know so, the feeling. So she's needed, and uh, but it, it, it's good. I I uh, have the day planned out for the kids, so they have like their their like morning routine of like what kind of schoolwork they need to do and stuff like that. And then I usually keep myself busy with like doing like big good projects and that kind of stuff and just making sure the house is clean being a good housewife <laughs> man i wish the falcon was my housewife that'd be <laughs> awesome <laughs> we'd have the most wild three no <laughs> <laughs> uh what was i gonna say oh yeah going to the grocery store is like i don't know man every uh, it stresses me like before yeah. i didn't like going to the grocery store but now it's like it's so eerie and weird and everyone looks so uncomfortable <laughs> and I don't know. Well, it's just it's it's so messed up. It feels like it feels like we're living in like Mad Max, you know? Okay. Like this is Mad Max going on right now, except they can go outside and we can't. <laughs> well, I went to the grocery store today. I had to run down and get stuff for supper because we I don't know, there was like tortilla shells and stuff like that that we didn't have. Well, I went down there and Reynolds, our grocery store here, was supposed to be only allowing ten people in the store at a time. Mm -hmm. And I went in there, and there's like 40 people. I was like, motherfucker. I just ran through oh, and grabbed no. everything I needed. It freaks me oh, out because I'm in, I'm fucking high risk, so that sucks. And I don't know. I just, I've used so much Perel in the last few weeks. It's not even funny. Yeah, with Sheldon's AIDS, he really doesn't want to get. <laughs> He really doesn't, really doesn't want to catch anything else, you know, or, or give anybody else the AIDS, so. 
pretty close. I have an autoimmune disease, so, you know, yeah. tomato, tomato. Kind of, it's kind of <laughs> the same. Uh, <laughs> but since life is so, like, scary and whatnot, what, what kind of... What kind of media have you guys been throwing yourselves into? Have you been watching anything? Have you been... Well, I know we've all been playing Animal Crossing, but is there anything else you guys have been playing or, or watching? I just got back into King of the Hill because I watched oh, nice. I watched uh, every season of South Park about five times. <laughs> so I was like, oh, that's getting old. So I started watching King of the Hill and uh, been trying to catch up on video game news since I kind of fell out yeah. of it there for a while. But it feels like, even though with all this crap going on, I mean, my actual life feels more back normal now, I guess. And it's just because mainly I have my own house, but uh, I've been trying to avoid, like, the pandemic news, though. Mm-hmm. That stuff gets annoying. Yeah. But I just check what about... it a little bit. Yeah. What about you, Joel? Have you been watching anything, playing anything extra that we should know about? Yeah, like, as you can tell by my amazing shirt that I'm wearing tonight on my villager. I've been uh, indulging myself in the Tiger King yes. with uh, a lot of other people. And I got to say, like, that show is only possible in the great United States of America <laughs> because I've never seen so many guns and so many tigers in one <laughs> in, in one place before. And I've never <laughs> seen so many uh, gay meth smoking carnival attractions. <laughs> as I have on this show, and it's like, I just, I just can't pull myself away from. So I watched the whole thing. It's like seven episodes. So I watched the whole thing with my wife, and it's like you're watching it, and you're thinking to yourself, "Why am I watching this?" And then you're like, "Oh my god, I love trashy TV. Like this is exactly, this is no, exactly you know, like, what you did right now." It's like when you see like a car accident, and you're like, "Oh, I shouldn't watch," but you can't like look away. <laughs> <laughs> That's, so, that's kind of how it is. Like, it's so funny, too, because, like, there's been so many about this thing, like, all over the internet. And, like, my favorite one is uh, Joe Exotic's first husband. He, uh, you could tell he indulged in, in meth way too much because he has, like, no teeth left. And he has, like, <laughs> two teeth that are, like, really far apart. And it's like, it shows somebody smiling. It's like, don't be like this guy's teeth. Be like this guy's teeth and practice social distancing. And it's, like, <laughs> it's just so funny. Like, I love it because, like, going on TikTok to just, you know, kind of, like, pass the day or whatever. You just want a distraction. You hop on there. And it's, like, the guy made his own, like, country music CDs. And he was <laughs> selling them in his gift shop. And it's so funny just to see, like, everybody using, like, his song on their TikToks. And it's, like. That's amazing. It's just so funny. Yeah, I've been doing that, and I haven't really been playing anything else besides Animal Crossing. I've been uh, in, I've been going back and watching uh, one of my favorite uh, Pokemon YouTubers. Uh, his name's A Drive. He like he specializes in like bug Pokemon or like his kind of deal. And uh, right now he's going back through. He's playing like a ROM hack of Pokemon Silver, which is supposed to be like really hard. So he's doing like a Nuzlocke going through that and it's pretty interesting so i've been watching been watching that because he's been posting date like uh, daily episodes of it so have you guys ever tried to play in pokemon with nuzlocke like uh, i made it think like maybe a quarter of the way through uh fire red the gba one i gave up <laughs> Steps Man, we were planning to we were planning to do that for quest for pixels we need to do that we should it's just confusing I because i don't know what like i don't know how like i gotta have to check and see how other people have done it because i don't know how it works with the wildlands and all that kind of stuff too right because like is the wildlands considered one route right so you're only allowed one encounter per route or so that's the that's the thing i'm confused I about think, i think the wildlands would be kind of a i don't, I don't know how to put it like a wild card <laughs> yeah just kind of a joke a because it's not a route but it has individual areas, so I don't know. Yeah. See, I haven't, like, literally I have put, like, maybe 15 minutes into the game. I've done enough to get my starter and beat my first badge. Yeah. And that's that's as much as I put into it because I was waiting for Tony to get back because we are going to do, like, a, like a, a dual stream sort of mm-hmm. Pokemon. 
I need to Same, but... I need to freaking start and get through that game again since when my Switch got stole. Oh yeah, that happened. I don't know if anybody ever really heard about that. My Switch got stole out of my vehicle at Walmart and I hadn't <sighs> cloud saved Pokemon. I mean, does it it cloud saves, doesn't it? I don't know. Maybe not. Either way, I didn't have my save file, so I'd start all over again, which sucks. It's one of the Nintendo's main staple games, so I'm imagining it doesn't have cloud save features. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'd imagine the, the cloud save, that one kind of falls in the same line as Animal Crossing, where you can duplicate items and shit, so instead of figuring out how to fix that, they just don't let you cloud save. Yeah, exactly. You know what? Speaking of duplicating items, only like the scum of the earth will go around duplicating <laughs> items in, in these games. I, you know, it's just it just ruins the fun for everybody. So like, just screw those guys. True. <laughs> <laughs> those people with their millions of bells. Anyways, for for me, I've been uh, I have been uh, trying to watch some Futurama because that is like nice. its twentieth anniversary of Futurama, which is pretty crazy. <laughs> to yeah. think that that show started 20 years ago and that was like on March 28th I think was its 20th anniversary so I grabbed an old hard drive where I have all the uh, episodes that I've qu- acquired uh, legally of course <laughs> um, and not through nefarious means but uh, started watching those oh it's on uh, it's on Hulu too if you want to watch well that's that great for you Americans hey, isn't hey, it? Hey, you got it <laughs> we fixed <laughs> that's that that's true that's true that's true um yeah so i was doing that today i was watching um a bunch of comedians on they were on they were broadcasting on twitch uh youtube they're doing a little fundraiser and they were doing it from their own homes obviously because everyone's you know locked down so they're like using zoom and skype and like discord kind of kind of calls video conferencing and it's just so funny hmm. to see them try to do this and all everyone's like oh it's my is is it working is can you hear me? And then people are muted. You know, people are not coming in. Their cameras are freezing. Just like how we deal with stuff yeah. going wrong with this show. Like every time we try to do it, right? Quest for pixels. It's a stable. Yeah. You gotta have problems. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Who knows? Yeah. But, uh, so that's been pretty fun. And I started playing a game that was suggested by, suggested by the Falcon, actually. And, um, we Falcon had a great idea to do kind of like a little Discord video game retro book club kind of deal, and uh, I started playing this game. It's called like I think it's called Chris Crystalis Crystalis or something like that. Yeah, it's by it. yeah, it's by SNK. And the way I describe it is if if we lived in an alternate timeline and Zelda never happened, this would be the Zelda game. Yeah. yeah. And got, man, it's uh, pretty good. Did you guys pick anything up on the the Switch sale that's going on? No, I don't have any money. <laughs> I don't have it. I, uh, I bought three games. Two of them were on sale. But I've wanted to play that Y2K game for, like, ever. And it's like a, mm. like, Earthbound-esque type RPG yeah. game. So I picked that one up. Then there was the, like, Mars survival type game. That one was on sale, so I picked that one up, and I got, um, shit, what was that other one? One second. I got, oh, the Hotline Miami collection. Oh, that's a good, I love good collection Hotline. to grab. Yeah. So I picked those ones up. I think I'm going to try Y2K out later, but I wanted a, a game to supplement Animal Crossing, like you were talking about the other day, Tony. Yeah. I really should, yeah, it's, though, it's... play Pokemon, but... I gotta be in the right mood for that. <laughs> Sorry, my kid's screaming. Is it nighttime, Daddy? <laughs> He's so confused. <sighs> oh goodness. Uh, sorry about that. You good? What was I? What were we talking about? Supplementing Animal Crossing. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I take my Animal Crossing supplements twice a day, and uh, <laughs> it's really good. But where are you guys? in uh animal crossing at this moment like what have you accomplished where are you, where are you guys at i'm not really sure where else to go right now so i picked up my one plot of land that i have to set aside for future people coming to the island and i've built my bridge i've built my incline 
and I'm just kind of going around trying to get because right now I'm at the point where I just had Isabel uh, rate my town, and I guess I don't have enough villagers to get a proper rating on it, so I have a one star rating right now. So, and then yeah, that's kind of basically where I am. I don't really know what the next step is. Yeah, I just finished. So I finished the the four plots of land or whatever, and today I uh, unlocked the so you're able to scan amiibo in to have them come to your campsite. I got that, and I built another incline. So now the villagers have access to every chunk of my island. So after that, now so that they can be anywhere, I can actually move the villagers' houses around to different places. But um, I invited, Is or not Isabel, but uh, Goldie, which is what, my what? number one favorite animal. I got her coming, so Anthony can come or Tony can come, kidnap her, and then I'll invite her again. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, with my uh, with where I'm at, I just I went out so. With most of my island, I kind of just let it kind of go the way it was going. Like, I didn't really move trees around too, too much. I didn't really move things around yet. I was kind of waiting till I got to a point where I felt like most of the stuff was in place, and then I could just move it and adjust after. Yeah. And that's kind of what happened yesterday. I wasn't intending on playing late into the e evening and early morning into, like, 3 in the morning, but that's what happened, and I just started, uh, like building new fences, getting areas prepared for paths. I don't have them yet. Mm -hmm. Making sure all the inclines I had were good. I even moved the, the Nook store around and moved my moved my uh, house as well. Yeah. But it's it's good. Like, once I got the... Sh once you get the... Like you were saying about the inclines everywhere, I, I did the same thing, and now I'm getting, like, animals up on my hill where my house is, and I'm like, what the fuck are you doing here? Get out of here. This is my spot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, you don't you don't belong here. I built a, a zen garden. Those bastards won't even go in and sit in there. <laughs> but, no, did you guys, yeah. uh, I guess I didn't pay attention when I came into your house, Jewel. Have you guys messed around with the house customization? Like, I, I just customized the outside of my house yesterday? I think. No, and, I haven't. Uh, did you see that there's like door decorations for the outside of your door? I think I sent one of you guys one of them. But they're uh, like welcome signs and like crests and stuff like that you can hang on the outside of your house door. Mm -hmm. Which is pretty cool. Yeah, I think Joel had a wreath on the front of his door when we walked in. Yeah. I think. But I haven't, I've done just like, I've fixed the siding and stuff. Yeah. And that's that's about it. Like I changed it to one that kind of like has like this stone built into the bottom. Mm -hmm. It's it's part of like the last upgrade, I think. And I changed the roof, and now you can put the mailbox wherever you want, yeah. which just was a big thing, I guess. <laughs> I guess you can stick it out in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just go get your mail right by the <laughs> airport every morning. Yeah, that'd be weird. What about uh, rumors, guys? Rumors and speculation. What do you? How do you feel about that? Not not like we ever talk about that with Nintendo. <laughs> so you're talking about the uh, Mario 35th anniversary? Yes, I am, good sir. Julie, so, you feel uh, <laughs> 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 well, <laughs> let's bring us up to speed here first. So, if no, if people don't know what we're talking about, which I'm sure you probably do, but uh, reported last week. Um, a couple of sites started coming forward saying that uh, remasters are in the works for Mario's 35th anniversary. And uh, it's going to be a big celebration, kind of blowing the lid off, or at least it was planned to be during the E3 time. They were going to talk about uh, Super Nintendo Land, which should be launching soon, but maybe not because of the pandemic. Yeah. And uh, they were going to talk about the Mario animated movie that was being made at Universal with the uh, Minions team there. Um, so they might have shown a trailer for that as well. And there was a rumor that they are going to be remastering not one, but multiple 3D Mario games. So the ones that have thrown around was Mario 64, uh, Sunshine, Galaxy 1 and 2, 3D World, and that was it, I believe. And they said that 
all, pretty much all of Mario's back catalog will be able to be played in some form or another uh, throughout the year. So what do you guys think about this first off? So I am totally down for an HD remaster of 64 and Sunshine. That will be... I love Mario Sunshine. I'm, I guess, an oddity. But uh, like I was telling you guys earlier, if they would do an HD remaster of Super Mario World, I would be the happiest boy in the world. But um, I don't mind the 3D Mario games. I just wish they put more focus on the 2D. Like, if you're going to have an anniversary of a game that started as a 2D game, like, I don't know. But there really hasn't been a terrible Mario game. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I'm kind of indifferent. I just want them to do as much as possible because it deserves it. <laughs> Along with yeah. Metroid 2 this year. Well, here's the thing. So, uh, a good uh, our good friend Emily Rogers, before this leak even came out, she said something about before the uh, last mini direct, she said a few things that were pretty accurate. And then she also said, oh, and this year is going to be a good year to be a plumber. Yeah, and then that happened. So then after that, someone's like, "Oh, Emily Rogers called it," and then they're like, "She's like, yeah, well, guess what? Anniversaries are next year. Thirty fifth yeah. anniversary is Zelda, and Metroid." And they better do something special for Metroid. So, Poor Metroid. Oh, I that think that series doesn't I think get they'll enough get support. Something. Yeah, but back to uh, Mario there for a second. I do think that there will be something of a two D surprise. I don't think that they can put all this effort into all these games and not have some sort of 2D surprise. What that might be, I'm not sure. A new game, remaster of an old game. Yeah. Um, my history with uh, 3D Mario games are actually... It, they're actually not the best, <laughs> to be <laughs> to be fair. Uh, 64, I didn't own a 64. Um, but I did play through Mario one weekend, staying at, at a friend's house. We were house-sitting, beat the whole game, me and my buddy, when we were like 13 years old. Um Mario Sunshine only played that for like a weekend. That's the one I'm most excited to get back to. Oh, I love Mario Sunshine. Yeah, it's just so different. Mm-hmm. Um, and then Mario Galaxy 1 and 2. Honestly, I couldn't get into it because I didn't like having to waggle for yeah. the controls. That just threw me out of it, the pointer controls and the waggle. And uh, 3D World was was really good. But that's yeah. kind of like a 2D, 3D split. Yeah. But that's kind of how I feel about the game. So it'd be it'd be really nice to see like a fresh coat of paint, maybe in the Odyssey engine, um, you know, remaster these games with yeah. some quality of life improvements. Um, Dude, but yeah, that's play, how play the Galaxy games with the normal controller would be awesome because I really like the games, but I had the same problem as the waggle. I mean, I got tired of the waggling. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So what do you think, Joel? What are your thoughts on the 3D Mario Collection? Like myself, I freaking hate 3D Mario so bad. <laughs> Hot take? I am not a fan of it. Like, you guys know, even, like, Mario Odyssey. Like, it was yeah, fine you... for the first level or two. And then after that, I just found myself powering through it just to beat it. Yeah. And, yeah. like, it, they still couldn't get the camera right for a, a new 3D game, like, and that's my problem with all these 3D games. Is like, is do people not remember how freaking horrible the camera is in these games? Like, it yeah, doesn't yeah. matter. Yeah. What they, like, even the new like Crash Bandicoot games that they came out with the remasters, the, like that camera is even horrible in that. Like, Mario Sunshine, like that was the most horrible thing about Mario Sunshine was the camera. Yeah, like you couldn't mm-hmm. get to certain areas because the camera wouldn't cooperate with you. And it was just, like, that's what takes me right out of the game, right? Like, the 3D Mario, to me, they could just get rid of it all, and I would really not even care. Yeah, um, that's... That, I mean, pretty much all 3D platformers have that issue. Yeah, like, they need to just keep those 3D platformers in the late 90s, early 2000s, <laughs> where they belong, <laughs> and not even bring them back, like... Except for the remake of Super Mario 64 on the 3DS was epic. They did good with that one. The touchscreen made that really nice, I think. Like, I just can't, I, I, I don't know, like, I can't even, I'm not excited about it at all. Like, I really don't, I, I, I could, I could not care less for those, <laughs> right? Like, just please get, I need another 2D Mario. That's wish, what I need. I wish they would do a 2D Mario, but drop the new Mario look whatever you want to call it, like the new Super Mario Bros. look, 
go back to more of a classic style. Not necessarily yeah. pixelated, but a, a different style. Because I'm not a big fan of the new Mario Bros. look. No, I don't care what it looks like. I just want a new 2D Mario. And for the people that say, oh, well, you, you got Super Mario Maker 2. Have you ever played Super Mario Maker 2? 97% of those levels on there are trash. Yeah. Well, that's it's like not... in Super Mario Maker, I found myself playing the like the story mode stuff a lot. A lot. Because the the levels that Nintendo pumped out were actually kind of decent, but mm-hmm. a lot of it though, they are aren't they just pulled in from like people's levels that are made? I didn't know. I've always been confused about that. But the... yeah, when you play when you play online, it's just it's just people's created levels. And, yeah, and no one yeah. does a really good job at that. Yeah. It's not the same. That's not anyone who says that Mario Maker Two is you getting a new two D Mario. That's, yeah, that's just like a slap in the face <laughs> to yeah. to any you know, any two D Mario <laughs> enthusiasts. The best thing about Mario Maker, I mean, it's fun to be able to make your own levels and everything. But the best thing is, is I've been able to make levels and teach Jason how to play platformers. So, mm-hmm. yeah, I agree. I like, we really do need a new two D Mario with like a with a nice art style. Mm-hmm. Like, I've I've said it for a long time. Like, give us give us the Sonic Mania treatment for Super Mario World. Yeah. You know, like a continuation that just pays respect and um, knows where its where its roots lie. You know, and just and takes it and doesn't try to doesn't try to stray too far from that, but still pushes it forward. You know. Yeah. Like I can say the the 3D Mario that I can at least say that I would be excited to play would be uh, Galaxy. Yeah. Because like I actually did enjoy it on the Wii. I found like because like so here's my thing is like I don't know how you're going to be able to use the star bits in it yeah. if you're only using the controller right because you need to use that pointer to point at the star bits to shoot the star bits. Um. And that was kind of like a major mechanic in the game, right? But so I'm not really think, sure how they would get around that. You'd think there'd be a way, like, if you could push, like, up on the D-pad, then control it like a regular with your thumbsticks and use the triggers to shoot or whatever. But, well, I guess yeah. the thing, too, is that the controllers have gyro in them, right? Yeah, so you could do that, too. You have to hold the trigger and then point around the map with the with that. I mean, that's not as bad as waggle controls. But like I said, I didn't really mind those, and I had, I think that was like the my best experience with uh, a 3D Mario. But I also believe that it was because, like in the Mario Galaxy, like the first one, a lot of the levels that you were playing, it wasn't a giant vast space no, like it yeah. was in some of these. Other, it was a very controlled area, so you weren't able to get into these situations where, like, the camera's not sure where you're going to be at, right? Yeah. So I think that's, that's why that worked. Super Mario but... Galaxy 2 was probably I really liked Odyssey, but before Odyssey, Super Mario Galaxy 2 was probably my number one like favorite 3D Mario game. The first one was good, but the second one was actually really really good, so. Yeah, it's funny. I saw a picture um that someone posted after this rumor and it showed like all those like really frustrating uh like uh, challenge levels in all the games so like mm-hmm. galaxy had like these ones where you kind of like uh, kind of like a little pl- plachinko machine kind of thing you know and uh sunshine also had them and, the, and sunshine had the whole pachinko level that one sucks y- yeah <laughs> exactly and then the person's like are you sure we really want these remastered because <laughs> they were those 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 parts were so frustrating yeah. <laughs> and that's that's exactly where the camera and the precision platforming that you can't really get in a 3d space really well uh would come into play there mm. but see and but, i think that's why i'm most excited to get back to play 3d uh 3d world yeah, yeah world 3d land was on the ds mm-hmm. um but yeah no like i thought i thought they did a really great job with 3d world yeah like it was it was enough it, it, i think i can't even say it was like 3d like the models were 3d no. it, it was, was like 2.5 <laughs> Yeah. The playing field was like two and a half, right? Like, it was like, uh, yeah, 3D model, it's like so that, a 2D plane. It's like that 2D plane, but kind of like tilted at an angle, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So it like, gives it that depth. Uh, Metroid Other M, same thing. 
yeah, so that's an exciting rumor that uh, may or may not come to fruition. I think it will. I think that's that's pretty. I don't know. It makes sense at this time. Do you think? Yeah. Do you think this rumor makes sense? I definitely it think they're doing sense. something like that. I mean, whether it's a box set of or you know like a. I don't know what you call it. You know how you got a game with multiple games on it? Kind of like uh, all Like a compilation, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, I think yeah. the best thing... Like, I still remember, like, the 25th anniversary of Mario. Like, when the Wii was still popping off. And I remember that red Wii, right? Yeah. With, like, the sick-looking... Like, it had, like, the special 25 on it. Like, with the garland around the outside. That I, I remember when going to Midnight Launch for that at the Walmart here in town and it was like I can't remember the last time I seen that many people in line I think it was for the uh, NES classic and it was like that box that it came in was so sweet like you crack the velcro lid open on it and then you see like the pic- like the high gloss picture of like the Nintendo Entertainment System on there on the TV and all mm-hmm. that kind of stuff then you pop it open and you get the uh get the sweet like music for and everything and then you get like the uh basically you get uh, mario all-stars yeah right like and, and like those hd ones that they had like the like the remasters that they had of those on there look so good well like, like, i hope i awesome. hope we get more like actual like physical crap that we can buy from or you can use to your like your nintendo my nintendo right. points on not just a background for your computer. <laughs> like, um... Yeah. Like, you know, remember the Luigi's... Man- or the Luigi's Mansion statue and stuff you got for that game? <laughs> yeah. On the year of Luigi? Yeah. I hope we get something <laughs> like that. They need to do, like, the year of Mario. Shit. <clears throat> yeah, and it kind of seems like that's what, uh... That's kind of where they were probably leaning towards something mm-hmm. like that. If they were going to release, like, pretty much all of Mario's back catalog. Yeah. Which is pretty insane. That's um, a lot of games. Yeah. Yeah. It is. I would like to see, you know, what would be your, like, if you could get a new, besides the 2D and the 3D, if someone could say, hey, this is a new Mario game uh, for this year, what what would you want it to be? A actual sequel to Super Mario RPG on the Super Nintendo. Oh, oh that'd be dope. <laughs> I'd want that. Uh, what about I, you, Joel? I think I would like another... Um... Dr. Mario. Mm-hmm. I was a big fan of that. Like, my favorite Dr. Mario was the uh, Dr. Mario on the Nintendo 64. Right? Oh, I don't think I've played that one. I enjoyed playing, like, the four player on it. Oh, that nice. was pretty fun. Also, the Wii had a pretty sick uh, Dr. Mario. I remember yeah, we, burnt, we burnt my friend's plasma TV with that game. <laughs> <laughs> so, even when he turned it off, you could see a little pill bottle. Cord <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, I yeah. Like that. Um, I like Burn. that. Uh, so I, I would have to say Dr. Mario or really love to get a new uh, like Mario sports game, kind of like uh, Mario Golf. Or That's like my even, pick right there. Yeah, like Mario Golf like would be awesome. Slugger, Super Sluggers is pretty good. Uh, Mario Strikers, right? Like even if we got something like a sports remix, right? Like going on the uh, Nintendo Switch, right? You want to give us a remake of of the Wii Classic Mario Sports Remix and give us some online features there so we could play against our friends. Like, I think that would be pretty fun. Dude. The three-on-three hoops. Oof. Yeah, that, hoops. or three-on-three so volleyball. The volleyball is pretty good. <sighs> Hockey, yeah. that was pretty fun, too. How about like, you, Tony? Yeah, that'd be good. For me, it would be definitely Mario Golf. Uh, I think they really... Uh, they really hit a hole in one, no pun intended. Actually, there was a <laughs> pun intended on the last one that they did for the 3DS. Yeah. Um, and there was a big resurgence in some of the podcasts that we follow and the people we talk to and not too too long ago, right before the Switch launched with that game. Yeah. Because you could set up tournaments where it was like asymmetric uh, multiplayer. So you could play your, your hole and then whenever your buddy was free, he plays his hole and then it would compare, and that's how the tournament would work. Yep. So you kind of just played it on your own terms. You know, you didn't have to. Be, you know, you have to meet up with people to connect and at the same time to do it. And it was just an easy, comfortable way to play mul- like a multiplayer game and really have like a tournament mode going on for for a bunch of people. Yeah. So I think and that'd I, be really awesome to have that. 
And I liked how, like, as as more people played the uh, tournament, you got to see more people's ghosts playing as yeah, you were exactly. playing. Mm-hmm. I thought that was pretty neat. Yeah, I think that would, I think that would really be like a that'd be really really hit the spot right now for on the Switch. Definitely with everybody at home. <laughs> that'd be uh, yeah. pretty nice. Another thing we yeah, need you from can't the go Mario. Out and play... Oh, sorry. No, go ahead. Oh, I was gonna say and the other thing we need from the Mario anniversary is Animal Crossing Mario swag. I mean, we've got a game where they can yes. put stuff in and everything. So that's give exactly us swag. what's gonna happen. Okay. Sheldon, you are you are right. You are completely correct because <laughs> we don't have any of that that Nintendo memorabilia inside the game yet mm-hmm. that we know of. So and New it Leaf would be has so much, and but like I said, you know, like with this one, they can patch whatever they want whenever they want. So they could do a lot of cool stuff, like limited stuff and everything like that. Yeah, another part of this rumor was that there's going to be a Paper Mario Ooh. game as well. That'd be good. That's supposed to be a return to form. So they're saying it's going to really be like a return to form. Like the GameCube. Uh, uh... Like like after the thousand, yeah, the thousand year door, mm-hmm. like focused after after that. So what do you guys think about that? Are you guys a big Paper Mario, you know, fan? Do you, like... do you, do you like those games or? I did not like the Paper Mario on 3DS, the Sticker Star. I didn't like that one. And the mm-hmm. one on the Wii was a cop out. But, uh... The the Thousand Year Door on GameCube was amazing, and uh, Color Splash was pretty cool on the Wii U. Mm-hmm. I I'm in the middle. I like the game. Like if they release something along the lines of Thousand Year Door, I would I'd love that. Yeah, I enjoyed the GameCube, uh, Paper Mario, the Paper Mario for the uh, Wii U, like Color Splash. I wasn't a fan of the card system in it. Yeah, uh, that's what really took me away from the game. So I didn't really mess with it too much, uh, but yeah, like the GameCube version of the game, like if it returns to like that type of gameplay, then I'm I'm all for it. Yeah, for me, I played um, like I started the the series on the Wii, so I played that. It was like Super Paper Mario, I think, mm-hmm. where you could where it was like you could go like 3D, and yeah, you could was the you walk side to side, thing. but then yeah, so that one wasn't bad. I. You know, I didn't really have much experience with the series before that. Um, I really didn't like the one on the 3DS. That one was garbage. Yeah, <laughs> but I, I got I that one. That one. I got that one for free uh, with um, my Nintendo points or something like that. And then the Wii U one I actually rented from the library, uh, <laughs> and I actually liked that a lot, except for the cards. I agree with you on that, Joel. The cards uh, really did take it out. But if you took away the cards. You'd have a pretty competent uh, Paper Mario, I'd think, so, yeah, in that game. Like, I got where they were going with the cards because they were trying to do, you know, like yeah. a po- Pokemon or Yu Gi Oh kind of aspect to it, mm-hmm. but they missed that. Like, I didn't mind the cards, but I didn't enjoy them. Did nah, you guys, yeah. have, either think... of you guys, played Paper Mario, like the original 64 Paper Mario? Like, not on the 64 or, you know, but like it's been available as a download. I think it was on 3DS. Uh, have you played that? No, one? I have. I have not. But I do remember that magazine advertisement. Did you? <laughs> do you remember that magazine advertisement? Yeah, I got the. Uh, well, I have the. I have the Nintendo Power with Paper Mario. I got Paper Mario 64. Uh, I don't remember when it came out. I don't think I got it at release. But that was one of the games that I got for 64. I didn't get many games for 64, but I did get that one. I really liked it, and that's why I got the GameCube one when it came out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the only thing I have experience with is that advertisement that came in magazines, <laughs> and it said like free demo, and it's just like a flat Mario picture yeah. with a yep. oh, outline yeah. like, around it. I remember that. I love that. I love that so much. I wasn't even into Nintendo really, like heavily at that moment. Mm-hmm. Like I had stepped back, and I was more into PlayStation at the time. But I cut that out and put it on my wall because I thought it was the coolest thing. Like I thought it was the funniest <laughs> advertisement because <laughs> just a white sheet with just a flat Mario with uh, cut out lines around it. That's awesome. And it says free demo. <laughs> I forgot about <laughs> so that. So good. So good. That's a classic. But uh, guys, what else do you have to talk about? Is there much more that you guys got going on this week? Or do we want to start wrapping her up? I got nothing else, man. Yeah, I don't really have that much else. All right, well... Play some uh, Animal Crossing and try my new games out. 
yeah, play some Animal Crossing. Everybody stay safe. You know, stay away from each other <laughs> as much as possible, but still connect with each other, right, online and, and still talk to each other because well, it's, it's a weird time. Uh, the best thing about this uh, the virus with, like, people like us is all of our friends are on the internet so we don't have to worry about getting each other sick that's right we can social distance really easily between us three because joel lives on the other side of the country and you live in a different country than us so we are good on that front i saw a meme it was like when you find out social distancing is just how you live your life (laughs) or what you call life exactly did did you guys see that did you guys see the article that somebody put out and it was like World Health Organization says gaming is bad. A mental illness or something. <laughs> and then it's like World Health says to meet up with friends online and like. On- and I'm like, <laughs> it was like a couple months apart. I'm like, this is awesome. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. I saw that on you posted on Facebook. It was awesome. <laughs> Yeah, but everything uh, has been so good so far, and uh, we hope to bring you some more content as we are all trapped away in our houses and, uh, you know, at home more, so we have more time to do things. Yes. <laughs> all right, from Tony, Joel, and Sheldon, peace out. Boy. Catch you on the flippity flop. <sighs> you know, get the tonsils all nice and moist, you know? <laughs> can't record a podcast without moist tonsils. <laughs> it's, rule number, it's rule number one, boys. <laughs>